I'm Brian from iWire, and we're gonna show you how to deal with a shielded wire. In this plug, it's gonna be the MAF, but it could be any plug that utilizes a shielded wire. A shielded wire is a signal wire that is protected from outside noise. The reason that we do that is because sometimes other wires around it create electrical noise that could interfere with the signal wire that we really care about, in this case, the MAF. So how they do this is they put a layer of mesh or a drain, sometimes called a drain wire, around the signal wire. This wire that surrounds the inner wire is grounded, which helps keep noise out. This could also be seen, sometimes it will look like this. Just depends on the wire and what they're trying to do. So if this is the case, this ground wire cannot touch the inside signal wire. So when you go to repair this, you must make sure that this wire does not touch the inside jacket or else you'll have lots of problems. The next step would be to depin the terminal that we don't want anymore. So in this case, you can also see sometimes they'll use gold terminals for signal wires because gold conducts better than usually brass or tin depending on what uh, terminal type you're using. Okay, depin that. So that one's in there. We're gonna assume this is still in the car. So we're gonna reconnect it. So we have our fresh wire, but see this one is not shielded. So we need to make sure that you tie this back into the original wire close to the shield. Now what you could do is extend the wire a little bit by just straight cutting it here and making a joint so that you're only adding a little bit of unshielded to your shielded. The other way you could go about it is if you had a problem through this whole section and you only had this part, you would take your wire strippers, maybe two to three inches, depends on what it is. Be careful to only remove the outer jacket and not nick the inner wire. Peel that off, and then you wanna move this back so that we don't touch the ground wire to the inner signal wire. Can take this and actually cut it. You want to take a piece of shrink tube. If you don't have any shrink tube, tape would work. Subaru uses a combination of tape and glue, so this will be more than satisfactory. All we're trying to do here is seal that wire so that it doesn't wick up moisture and cause corrosion in your signal wire or your uh, shield wire. Now, pretty straightforward, just like you would do any other crimp. Strip enough of the jacket for both sides. You wanna have enough that you can see the wire These are iWire supplied crimps. If you buy the pigtail with crimp, you'll get these. See how you can see the copper through, so now I know I have enough. And the end of the wire is not, you can see just a little bit of copper at the end of the metal uh, butt connector. From there, just a standard crimp. If you have uh, a standard wire stripper tool, the, the back end of that usually is just fine. In this case, we're gonna do something a little nicer. Solid, not gonna come out. Same with the other one. I noticed this one's probably a little short, so we're gonna strip it a little more. Same thing, you can see the copper on the other side. Crimp it down, 
and these are the only butt connectors I would recommend that you use because they are heat and glue, so they'll both be sealed from the outside. Anything less than that will fail in your engine bay. And now you can have your map working again. Uh, this is Brian from iWire, and we're going to show you today how to deal with signal shielded. God damn it. You two got it! <laughs>